This is hydrogen tap. Doing a, an inspection on the system now. I've been running it for about two weeks and I uh, thought you might be interested. This is the focus cell we'll be looking at. And of course you're looking at my Honda. It's uh, 1017 Saturday morning. Which to me all the days seem to go together. And uh, it's very hard to get things done, as many things as I want. You're looking at the focus cell and uh, I've had a lot of interesting experiences with it now. If you look at the, uh, that's the water system I put in there. The uh, cell with that extra water fill section that you're looking at right there has been working really well. It evidently seems to be somehow or other keeping it cooler. There is definitely some kind of flow between the two. Uh, very, very little, but it seems to be enough to manage the heat problem that everyone else seems to be having. I'm not having that problem. This is again the focus cell that you're looking at. It's got 11 plates. Six of them are the terminal plates. In other words, three positive, three negative. The rest are neutral. The hookup on this cell has been really, has worked out well, as you can see, uh, everything is in pristine condition. Everything on the top there, those are the, what you're looking at there are the electrodes, and the blue wire is going through the cab. That'll be the positive to the positive connection, which, if you look back here, you'll see the red wire coming back and uh, that's bringing back through to the positive connection through the switch. You can also see the tube that I've got there that reinforced tube is working out fine no problems with the heat whatsoever and if we look up here at towards the engine, you see the connector is connecting right in before the intake valve or the breather tube, you could call it that. Behind it there, going further, is where the air filter is. I'm going to be installing two hydrogen systems in this car. This is the first and there'll be another one. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it. It'll probably be down here. What you're looking at here is the bubbler. Everything here has been connected just right as far as being able to take all the bumps and everything in the road. The spring system which you can see has really worked out well. So I've got the spring you can see it going around there and to the firewall. So there's uh, one spring going around that way and there's another spring, if you look there, that's going around the bubbler system. Also the other piece I have on there that you're looking at there, there's actually a if you look back a few videos, you'll see there's a, a steel rod that goes there and further towards the firewall. It keeps it in place. You can see all my connections there. Everything here uh, has weathered really well, so that's telling me that the installation is a good installation. You can get a good shot of what's in here.
a slight bit of the red that we're used to seeing and it's in the bottom of the tank it's very very little but it's definitely is feeding in a little so this is my water delivery system you can see the way it comes in so the water mark right now it needs more no actually it's up here it's right at the fill part so evidently there is some kind of linkage between the two just enough so that it goes back and forth I'm not worried because it's not that bad